Hello everyone, uh, my name is Suat Shatayan. I am an RN since 2012 and I also have a master in degree in health uh, education uh, since 2015. As an RN, I have a wide range of experience as medical surgical nurse, behavioral nurse, addiction nurse. And I also worked as a direct care nurse in a group home, which was my first, first job as an RN. Not to forget to mention my management experience as a team leader, coordinator, and director of nursing in a skilled nursing facilities. For the purpose of this course, D024, I needed to update my LinkedIn profile uh, which I created uh, in 2012 also. As soon as I get my RA license, I created the LinkedIn uh, profile. So what I did, I added some of my professional presence and mindfulness characteristic as such as active listening, sorry, active listening, which is very important not only while talking to my patient, but also to everyone. Active listening improves understanding, build relationships, and promote effective communication. And it also increases empathy and resolve conflict. I also added self-awareness which helped me to recognize my own emotions, biases, and limitation, and work toward address them to provide the best possible care to my patients. I added compassion. I always showed kindness, empathy, and understanding toward my patient, my colleague, and toward everyone. Mindfulness, which is being present and fully engaged in the current moment. I believe mindfulness improve focus, reduce stress, and improve the ability to handle a difficult situation. I did not forget to add professionalism. I always behave in, behave in a manner that reflects well on my profession as an RN, maintaining confidentiality is the big one, following ethics guidelines, and being punctual and dependable. Overall, practicing professional presence and mindfulness help me provide high quality care to my patients while also promoting a positive and respectful work environment. What are some of the benefits of joining LinkedIn? First of all, it is professional layout, easy to follow each st step that has all your qualification and experiences. It is also makes it easier for people who are viewing your profile to see exactly what are your needs and wants. And if I am appropriate candidate to reach out to me for either educational growth or job opportunities instead of, of me reaching out to them. It is also very encouraging to get email, messages, notification from different organizations stating that you are a good fit for them. And some of them, they want you to do an interview with them. Also, it connects and endorses my skill or individual skills. And they congratulate you for job anniversary, birthdays, and so on. How I plan to connect with other MSN RNs who can monitor and assist me during my graduate program? 
I am already a member of American Nursing Association and American Nursing School Association. Those two organizations offer support, offer guidance, not only to our entry of their graduation or graduate nursing experience, but also support and their work field. Being a member of professional organization provide platform for nurses to advocate for their profession and make a positive impact on healthcare policy and the practice. Also, those organizations offer networking opportunities, educational resources, membership programs. I'm also planning to attend conferences and workshops to connect with other MSN nurses, learn about the latest research and the best practice in my field, and find monitorship opportunities. Lastly, connecting with my, with my faculty and classmates is a valuable resource of advice. It is very important to make sure that your physical and mental health are in check and make sure that you are taking care of yourself first so you can take care of others. Thank you for watching. Your feedback and input are greatly appreciated. Suad Chetaye. Bye-bye. See you in phase two.